This video will review endoscopic ultrasound miniature probe storage connection to the MAJ1720 probe driver before a procedure and how to apply a balloon sheath. Let's start by looking at the proper way the probe should be stored. Store the probe with the MH244 water resistant cap. Attach the water resistant cap onto the end of the probe connector. Wrap the MH245 probe holder around the probe holder mounting section on the probe connector. Insert the distal end of the probe through the probe holder. There should be one big loop with the distal end hanging below. Now that we have covered proper storage and components of the probe, let's demonstrate how to connect the probe to the probe driver. The probe connector has a contact pin. The probe driver has a groove in the top of the internal cylinder. With the contact pin facing up, align the contact pin to the groove and the connector should easily slide straight into the probe driver. You should not have to force it. Also, do not rotate the probe while inside the probe driver as it will damage the contact pin and possibly the probe driver. With the display monitor, ultrasound center, and tower on, press custom 1 on the CV190 to select the ultrasound image. Press the freeze button to unfreeze the ultrasound image. Confirm that the probe image is displayed on the monitor. Confirm that the ultrasound transducer is rotating and that a multiple echo image appears on the monitor when the ultrasound image is in real time mode. Confirm that no abnormal vibrations or sound is emitted from the system assembly. There should be bright white rings in the middle of the screen. After inspection, set the probe to freeze mode by pushing the freeze button again. Tip, if you don't have a good image, check the probe distal end for air bubbles. There are two types of methods for the removal of air bubbles. If there is no ultrasound propagation fluid in the probe distal end, leave the probe in the storage position for a few hours and confirm that ultrasound propagation fluid has accumulated around the ultrasound transducer. If there are some air bubbles around the ultrasound transducer, hold the insertion tube approximately 10 centimeters from the distal end and point the distal end downward. Vigorously shake the distal end until all air bubbles have been eliminated from inside the transparent section of the probe. After the air bubbles have been removed, place the probe in the probe holder with one big loop and the distal end pointing down. When finished with the probe, make sure the ultrasound unit is in freeze mode. Then pull the probe connector straight out. Attach the water resistant cap on the probe. The following components are needed to attach a balloon sheath to an ultrasound 2R or 3R miniature probe. The MH246R balloon sheath, a MAJ667 connector, a 20cc syringe, a three-way stopcock, an extension tube, and a container filled with water. First, confirm the rubber seals are intact in each locking ring. The larger probe locking ring has a black rubber seal, while the smaller sheath locking ring has a clear rubber seal. Assemble and turn both the probe locking ring and the sheath locking ring to confirm that they rotate smoothly. Next, loosen the sheath locking ring and insert the insertion section adapter of the balloon sheath into the ring until the adapter contacts the connector section body. Then turn the sheath locking ring clockwise to tighten it. Confirm that the insertion section is securely attached to the connector section. Remove the balloon sheath protective cover. Now connect the extension tube, three-way stopcock, and 20cc syringe filled with 15 milliliters of deaerated water to the irrigation port of the connector section body in that order. Mm -hmm. 
Loosen the probe locking ring and slowly insert the ultrasound probe into the ring until the transducer of the ultrasound probe enters the balloon. Tighten the probe locking ring and confirm that the connector body is securely attached to the probe. Pull the syringe plunger to aspirate air from the balloon sheath. Keeping the syringe pointed toward the floor, feed water to inflate the balloon. Confirm that there is no water leakage from each connecting section. If water leakage is detected, securely tighten the probe locking ring and or sheath locking ring. Pull the plunger to aspirate the air from the balloon, keeping the balloon pointed toward the floor. Repeat until no bubbles are observed inside the balloon, replacing the air with water inside the balloon. When air is completely expelled from the balloon, deflate the balloon by pulling the syringe plunger. Now you are ready to connect the ultrasound probe to the probe driving unit and start the procedure.